I request ISO. Now uh, it's Dead Rockstar here on my probably tenth attempt for this video. Uh, I shit. Um, this is going to be a tutorial on the VMC fix for the HD loader. Uh, it'll allow you to play some games like at the black screen of death on the HD loader. Um, what you'll need is uh, image that gets the black screen of death. Uh, CD Gen, PS2, USB, e, MCE, EMU, WinHat, and ISO Buster. All this stuff will be included in my post. Um, Alright, let's just jump straight into it. Uh, start up ISO Buster. I already got that running. It's right up here. Uh, drag your ISO right here, and it'll pop up like this, and it'll show all the stuff in here. Right click on it. Uh, extract it. I extracted it to my desktop. And that's what came up as right here. Alright, so open that up. And this is what it'll look like. It'll have the same stuff as this. To get this file, you, you need to go back into ISO Buster. Right click on that, the image. And then uh, go here, folder tree and file information. List tree file info. And then click on LBA relative path click on that and then it will give you this you have to extract it to the same directory can't be on your desktop or it has to be wherever your ISO got extracted it has to be with this stuff right here All right. from there extract USB MCEMU dot uh, I already extracted it and you'll have want to rename it just to whatever your region is, mine's slus underscore 999.99 there we go alright from, from here um, you'll want to hit start or open up notepad somehow and then drag the system file in your newly extracted uh, image and then drag it into there and it'll open up something like this and you'll want to change it so it's uh, whatever so this stuff right here that's highlighted should match this right here well, it should match that name uh, don't worry about this keep that though keep it in there keep this in there don't change anything and then you can change this it was like this, but you can change it to this, 1.02. Um, it doesn't really matter, I don't think, but I'm going to give it a try and see what happens. And Just X out of that, save the changes. Alright, open WinHex editor. And now, you'll want to drag the slus underscore 999.99 into there and you're looking for the code 0004C00 so look for that I'll show you when I find it 4004C00 this is what we're looking for right here the IOPRP crap and this crap right there. A lot of crap. Alright, you want to match this up with this file. This is a file in your image somewhere. You have to find it. And this one, it's wrong. You have to change it. This is, this is just generic information right now. So you'll want to change it so it's the right, the right way. My IOPRP file is in the modules file folder. So what I'll want to do then is rename this to modules backslash IOP RP 213 dot IMG semicolon 1. So this should be exactly the same name as this right here. It should be in the same path. 
So that's pretend that's like the image, image name, modules, IOPRP.IMG. That's where it is. That's where this is right here. So some of them might be right here. In that case, you don't even need a second folder. You can just write that name after the backslash. All right. Now for this one, you want to name it whatever the original SLUS is, or the original uh, region code is. So mine, I'm just going to put a U there, and then I'm going to put it 202.12. And just like before, leave this alone, leave this stuff alone, and only change the stuff you need to change to make it match up with this and this. This is the SLUS. 999.99 this is the extracted image so after you change both of this both of these make sure you do it the right way I screwed up my first time and had to redo it uh, when I did this the very first time okay I save it and uh, minimize after that uh, let's see here well, we got that done. We got the uh, list in there. Now all you have to do is make the image. So open up CD Gen. Click Advanced up here. Import tree file from ISO Buster. I'm gonna click that, and it'll come come up with this. I'll ask you uh, which one. What do you want in there? Uh, the text file you want in there, and uh, choose the one that's with your image hit open and then import ordering by LBA no picks right in the middle the middle one right here hit ok alright this this stuff should all come up in here and uh, after that uh, take the SLUS 999.99 drag it up in there and if you don't see any negative numbers no red numbers you should be good so click IMG right there then change it to ISO and then uh, change the directory and then change the name and I'm going to save it it shouldn't take too long to save um, once again this is for request ISO only I'll be uploading it to YouTube um, and like I said before uh, not all games work for it um, I got it to work with uh, SSX3 on tour or uh, SSX4 on tour uh, I almost got it to work with downhill domination but there's something wrong with that um, yeah, pretty much at the end of the tutorial. It's not that hard, is it? It can be hard to do by memory, but I've done it so many times. Got it down. Um, one more thing. You'll need a modded PS2 with uh, U-Launch Elf on it and uh, HD loader to get this to work. Um, you can use a virtual memory card, a BMC to save the game. Uh, it's not needed. Uh, also, uh, don't support this in any way. But it's for the people that do. Uh, and that's pretty much the end of the tutorial. Um, uh, I don't know if this will work with uh, external hard drives. I know it will work with internal hard drives. When you put it on there with WinHip, um, make sure the boot file is slus underscore 999.99 or whatever your region is, 999.999, whatever. Um, and uh, run in mode 3. And if your boat arrives at port, that means it's a good file, it's saved good, hit OK. And you just completed the VMC fix. Uh, congratulations and here's my uh, fixed image 
and um, I'll see if it works and uh, good luck to you. Uh, have a good one.